All right, welcome back to my next touch designer tutorial. And today I'm gonna show you how to set up um, Ableton and touch designer with TD Ableton to work together. So you can send like um, messages basically between the two, like in both directions. And um, yeah, it's, it's very powerful. Like you can do a lot of stuff with it already with just sending MIDI notes over and you can basically control all parameters on, on both sides. So it's a very um, great, great thing to, to um, set up and I guess understand <laughs> at some point. And um, there is a, a documentation on it. So if you Google TD Ableton, this is uh, what you're gonna find. And it, it, it's got the getting started part here. So basically, everything you need um, should be in here, but um, I've personally found it pretty difficult to set up and I was also asked to actually make it, make a tutorial on this, so here we go. And um, I'm gonna link this and also this, because if you don't have Ableton 10, like if you have Ableton 10 then you already have Max for life, but if you have Ableton 8 or 9, for example, or something earlier, then you uh, must install Max for Life uh, manually. So if you don't, if you haven't uh, already done that, so if you don't have Max installed, which you can see here, then uh, you also don't need a pro license. You just need Max generally. So if you if you have that, then we can continue. And we're gonna start with some some folder stuff. Um, so the first thing you need to do is to um, go to Touch Designer and then to Help up here and then go to Browse Samples. And then this uh, list of folders appears. Basically you open the folder and um, what's interesting to us is this TD Ableton folder. I'm gonna get, get back to that in a second. And then you need to locate, locate this um, folder, the MIDI Remote Scripts folder. So um, I can just quickly show you how to do that. I mean, you can either type it in there or you um, you go to C and then if you don't if you don't see program data, you need to go to in your case view or something and then um, check this uh, hidden elements thing or I don't know it's called in English exactly. So then you go to program data, Ableton, Live 10 suite, um, resources and then the MIDI remote scripts folder. Open that and um, then we need to drag the TD Ableton folder from the opened samples folder and I've already done that so I'm not going to do it again but you just need to like yeah drag that into here so I just drag that into there. Alright so when you've done that you can uh, close the, the samples folder here and um, go to Ableton and then take this uh, folder and drag it into the places here. Again, I've already done that, but so you can just access it more easily. All right, when you've done that, um, you should go to uh, Preferences and then on the Link MIDI tab here, uh, on one of these, select Touch Designer with uh, input and output both set to none. Okay, and then I think uh, you should like make a new live set. You just need to reload it. And um, when you've done that, you need to like y y you go into here, send it into the dragged uh, Touch Designer folder, and then you should find these four uh, TDA things here and a few more in there. And um, what's most interesting to us now is the TDA master. So if you go into your master and your Ableton project, then you just drag that on there. Okay, it says disconnected for now, that's fine. Now we're gonna move to uh, Touch Designer here. Actually, it's gonna drag this like that. And uh, you go to your palette and you look for the TDA Ableton here. And then there's this TD Ableton package in there and that you can just drag in there. And then there's this red cross for a second and then that should disappear. And now 
there's uh, this is connected. So if that doesn't work for you, then uh, there is this troubleshooting section in here. But technically, it should just work. One thing you might want to check is um, is in here. So on this TD Ableton, so in the in the package, like if you go into the package, then on the TD Ableton um, base, you can maybe check if the ports are uh, the same as here because they definitely need to be. But technically, that should auto automatically happen. All right, so. Um, this is the, the basic setup. I hope it works for you. <laughs> and uh, when you like in the next video, I'm gonna show how to actually use MIDI and like MIDI MIDI signals and also like audio level signals um, and then drive some visuals with it. All right. So thanks for watching and see you in the next one.